This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, let's talk about the building pad. We'll pick up where we left off. 0602, and we'll just open that up. Okay, let's do a save as. This is going to mark our starting point. And then let's do our complete. Okay, let's update our project notes. So we are digging holes using building pads. That's really their main use. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So let's go to the top of foundation wall. As I've stated when we went through the phases portion, you're always going to be maintaining phases. So this is one of those times. Right now we're at the top of foundation wall view, but what phase is that? So this is existing. Let's just create a duplicate. We're going to duplicate this view with detailing. When you say with detailing, it's going to bring all the 2D stuff, like any 2D CAD work or any annotations. And in this case, we want the CAD work. So let's just duplicate with detailing. And we will right click and then rename that. Call that one top of foundation wall existing. And then we can refine this even. So we can say the phase filter, just show complete. So just show us the existing phase, that's it. And then let's also show the site because we're actually not seeing the site. We're seeing topo lines from AutoCAD, we're seeing property lines, but not the topography. So let's hit VV, that'll take us to our visibility graphics overrides. And let's just turn on the topography. Okay, so it's gray, at least we can see it. Okay, let's duplicate this now. So we're gonna duplicate this view with detailing. And let's rename it. And we'll call this one phase one. Apply that and now show complete. Yes, phase one. Yes, good. Where is the CAD file though? So sometimes what happens is CAD files will get covered up by other stuff. So what I want to do is just find that CAD file, click on it, and then I can bring it to the foreground. The other way that you can do that is just if you turn your view to wireframe, then you'll be able to see what's behind the topo. It could be a floor or whatever. Okay, now it's in the foreground anyway. All right, so we're set up and ready to start digging. So we'll start in our existing view and let's go to Massing in Sight, Building Pad, and let's just click on that rectangle and draw Building Pad in here. Now we can tell the pad how far down it's going to go. So we're going to put it down minus eight feet. That'll leave us plenty of room. We'll just apply that and we'll say OK. Good. Now let's go to top of foundation wall phase one in our project browser and we'll go to our building pad again. Rectangle again and then just draw that. Minus eight feet. Sure. OK, now it's in. Let's take a look at this in 3D, so we've got 3D existing, 3D phase two. Let's just look at 3D phase two. So you can see here, there's the pads, there's the walls of the topography, and you can see there's two of them there. One was the existing, one's the phase one, and then this is the idea ultimately of what we're gonna have. Let's go to phase one and see what we see. What are we looking at here? Well, the red stuff, that's all of the difference between our new topography, which is, you can see over here, that hilltop that we made. And then our previous topography, that is in red. So you'll notice that the top of this hole is not cut. We can see that there actually is a cut there. So what we're going to do is use another tool in order to cut out that top part. And we'll be looking at that in another video. Okay, so let's close our hidden windows. So we'll go to view. Those hidden windows. Let's do a save. Go back to the recent file screen and we're ready for the next one.